right, you guys, I'm back. Um, so my last video got cut off, but um, I just wanted to quickly touch on other items I found at the 99. <clears throat> now, when I say the 99, that's just a cool way of saying the 99 cent store. <clears throat> because now things, as you know, are not 99 cents anymore. They're like $1.25. The, this six pack, I think it was $6.99. They have uh, six of these. These are hard seltzers called Sesh. They have Moscow Mule. They have uh, Gin and Tonic. And uh, they have, uh, actually, the first one I held up was a Paloma. This is the Mule. I think this one and the Paloma are my favorite. And uh, these, as opposed to the Bud Light seltzers, which you can get at the store, these are only 5%. The other ones were 6% alcohol by volume. So they'll get you buzzed a little quicker. Um, they're actually pretty good. Um, the Moscow Mule has a really good ginger flavor. It's not overpowering. Uh, the Paloma, there's a slight hint of the grapefruit. In fact, the gin and tonic, I haven't tried that yet. That's probably going to be better. Ooh, probably be better with like a squeeze of lime. But uh, they also had this uh, coffee espresso. I'm going to crack that open tomorrow morning. <clears throat> I'll let you guys know how that goes. But um, one thing I did not care for was the Tepachito. It's a pineapple and guava cider. This is non-alcoholic. That's probably why I didn't like it. No. It just, it has an acquired taste. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to try something different, um, the 99's got great deals. Uh, you might even be able to find these pink ice cubes somewhere. Those are pretty cool. But uh, one last thing, um, if you're doing these breakfast videos and you have to work in the morning, always uh, remember to meal prep. Look at that. I'm just going to go straight to work, throw that in the microwave, and bada bing, bada boom. There's my breakfast. All right, you guys, have a great night. We'll be back on here for more Breakfast at Biddy's. Maybe not at